Hello everyone, thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Wanted to take a moment to showcase something that I like to check in an upper receiver, whether it's a new gun or a gun that I have in for service. I'm just going to bring it into the receiver here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cotton swab, one that has a squared off rear. Now you can use other things as well. You can use a ballpoint pen, things like that. But what I'm going to do is position this so I can show you what I'm checking for. So at the same angle of the ramps, just like so, I'm going to come down with my swab and I can feel the transition between the upper receiver and the barrel extension. And look, it's hanging up. I can take a chunk of it with it. Over here, it's even worse. Right there. I don't want to see that. So to fix this, you don't break out a Dremel and start Dremeling in this all as one piece. You have to take the barrel out of the upper receiver and you have to modify the barrel extension ramps only, the steel ramps. You do not touch the upper receiver ramps right here. Those are anodized. And when you grind those, you remove the anodizing, which is the harder outer surface. You don't want to do that. So you need to always make modifications to the barrel extension, the steel itself, not the aluminum on the upper receiver. Now, this particular interface, you can also see on the edges right here, it has a, vis a visual overhang. I don't like to see that. I have it here, and I have a little bit right there. The right side are fine, which means that this particular barrel may be a little bit over torqued in that receiver, and it causes the whole thing to clock slightly this way as the barrel nut was tightened. Um, I'll check that out when I remove the barrel, make sure that the index pin isn't broken or the upper receiver index pin notch isn't oversized or peened out. But nonetheless, <clears throat> this is what I like to check. So I can see that this is overhanging. Now, not all upper receivers that have this overhang or what I call clicking problem will give you feeding issues. Some magazines, some upper and lower interface in a way that when the magazine feeds, the round or the tip of the projectile only touches the barrel extension ramp. It completely misses this lower part. That's highly dependent on the type of magazines you select, the type of ammunition you use. Some ammunition has different projectile profiles. Um, but if you want to be 100% sure that whatever quality magazines you use, whatever quality ammunition you use, um, that you will have a problem-free setup, you want to make sure there's a smooth transition between the upper and lower ramps here. So we will be removing the barrel from this, not on video, unfortunately, because it's a long process, and I will be remedying these ramps. So I thought you'd like to take a look at that as an educational topic, and thanks for watching.